Hey YouTube, Roger here. Let me get this camera situated. There we go. Oh, now it's gonna fog. All right. Still a rookie at this moto vlogging. But uh, I had a few things to say, so pull the camera out. Until I get going a little bit, it's gonna be foggy, but fixing a have a green light here. The only stoplight in the county of Mariposa due to a great big rock slide over there. See that over there? I think you can see that. Great big rock slide. Anyway, it creates a one lane and so we have this stoplight now. And it's in uh, Caught up in the California red tape bureaucracy for a fix. That'll probably be years out. Let me open my vents here on the helmet so it don't fog. That's better. I'll try not to sniffle too much. But anyway, riding home, it's Heck, what is today? November 26th. Monday. Just got done teaching. Uh, well, partially teaching a course for my job called Operational Leadership. Anyway, there's the rock slide. Look at that. They say there's, I don't know, 600 or 6 million cubic yards of material that's constantly sliding inches a day, inches a week, I don't remember, but it's moving. And so that's the highway over there. And since it's moving, they've got to do one or one of two things, go over the rock slide to reestablish the highway on that side of the river. Um, or they talk about a uh, rock shed, kind of like a tunnel with a shed over the top of it, but I just don't know how that's gonna fly. The mountain's still moving. That makes me a little nervous driving through there. Particularly on my motorcycle. So that's the story of the only um, stoplight in my county. Came about back in September 2000. I guess so caused quite a stink we had to drive around the park to get to work so my my typical 30 minute commute 35 40 minute commute every day turned into an, uh, an hour and a half sorry two and a half hour commute talk about horrible yeah it was bad so we uh, carpooled a lot and we drove around kind of a bad deal you need to scoot over buddy um, but anyway now we get to go through that light it's a little detour not bad at all I could put up with it. It's create a little bit of a hazard though because traffic doesn't free flow down the highway now. It all stops back there at the light, piles up, and then you get what I got right now. Cars on my butt, slowpoke in front of me, a lot of anxious uh, commuters that work around here, take some pretty horrendous risks. And I usually don't like to be in the middle of it. I try to stay at the back or the front. This guy, if he's got half a brain, will pull over in the turnout right here. It's a state law. If you have more than five people on your tail, you got to use a turnout. But obviously he's a bonehead. Going to create a hazard by causing all us to have to pass him. And of course, it always happens. They speed up like a son of a gun on the straightaways. 
bonehead. Ugh. Anyway, that'll cause a little bit of stress for people if you get a couple of those buses, an uh, RV or two, and they, they don't understand the law. If you've got more than five people behind you, you're supposed to pull over. Anyway. And you think uh, there's no real way to, to teach them. So we deal with it. Usually, um, as I was putting my helmet, uh, my camera in the helmet back there at the light, usually I'll go around them up to the front of the line. Uh, I won't go across the double yellow. That's, that's wrong, you know, when we're stopped at the light. But I'll go across the, out here on the white line and right up next to them as we sit there at the light and uh, politely go in front of the vehicle at the front of the line and kind of nod at them try not to make them mad at me it usually always works uh, so there's a long introduction I figure You know, the clock says 523, it's really 423. Figured I would uh, throw the camera in here and talk at you a little bit. Um, I'm gonna get an external mic and be able to mount it on the outside at that point, at some point, and it'd be a little more comfortable. Audio might be a little better, I don't know. We'll see, but. Anyway, uh, for if this is your first video that you've seen of mine, um, I'm riding a V-Strom 650. It's a 2004. Uh, it's got about 15, 16,000 miles on it. I've put 3,184 miles on it since I uh, bought the bike back in August, mainly uh, commuting up and down this highway. It's not a bad commute. It's got a lot of perks. You're right next to the river. Um, pretty quiet. I can think of a lot worse places to be commuting. Like in the city. Don't want to do that. I've kind of gotten used to my one traffic light in the entire county. Got me kind of spoiled. So, uh... They get to commute down this highway every day. It's not a bad little deal. I'm thankful for it. But anyway, my bike, I got it for a good price. Really good price. Um, 3800 bucks with a ton of gear with it. And so, uh, I'll get a return on my investment just by riding it to work and back fairly quickly. You know, two years, two and a half years. Um, and the gas will say from driving the full size pickup. Got a Tundra 2011. I love that truck, but um, she does drink a bit of gas. So, this was my wife and I's solution to it. Her idea, which blew me away. Um, but as you can see, I gotta take a little bit easy. It's uh, what, November 26th. It's a little chilly out. A little chilly this evening. Um, very chilly this morning. I'm gonna have to break out the full winter suit. I guess it was 37 at my house. And so with the highway, this highway comes a few wet spots and those wet spots easily turn into black ice if we're not careful so now would I see any black ice tonight no but uh, still a little timid around the around the wet pavement here so I take it pretty easy anyway that's a little bit about uh, my motorcycle I like it a lot and I've kind of taken a lock into this vlogging hobby I've got. 
this is my fourth or fifth and uh, I promise to get better so check back talk about some interesting topics I did just read a really cool book that uh, I have to recommend and the nice thing about the book it's very good and there's 10 books in the series so uh, I gotta give a shout out to the 299 days by heck what's the author's name now it's kind of skipped me his name but uh, I might put a link in at the bottom underneath the video but uh, I'm on book two finished just finished it today um, and uh, fixing the order book three and four they're uh, available for order and then five and six is not even out on the shelves yet so anticipating those uh, being published if they're not already published there may be just the way they're releasing them is slowly but surely but a uh, very good book it's about uh, kind of a partial collapse of America due to a couple of factors stock market crashing um, bond markets tanking uh, debt beyond belief and a crisis in Mexico where the cartels there basically rise up and take over the government the Mexican government and that creates a flood of refugees into the US so Texas California and uh, Arizona are inundated with refugees from Mexico um, and then the uh, plot or the storyline is it's fiction but the storyline is in uh, Washington State Olympia and uh, so you get kind of an intimate look at inside the government there in Washington State and what's going on and so I recommend it if you're a uh, got any uh, inklings in your bones that uh, we can't sustain the type of spending we're having in this country the deficits we're running uh, living on borrowed dollar actually spending way more than we you know way more than we, we we take in and essentially putting our kids and grandkids in an extremely unsustainable spot where yeah, I really don't know what will happen it's probably not good though it's gonna be some kind of reset or something that has to happen for uh, normal life to return once uh, the bill comes due for all this debt we're creating so uh, anyway this is a, a that 299 days is a fictional account of that it's pretty cool I'd recommend uh, you taking a peek at it I liked it, enjoyed it. That's what I did uh, this weekend. It's been Thanksgiving weekend. Me and the kids did a little bit of uh, shooting. And the wife even enjoyed it a little bit. Uh, we had good dinner. Good traditional Thanksgiving dinner with ham. No turkey though. Which I guess that may not be traditional. We don't have turkey for some people. Uh, we're not a great big turkey family. We like the ham. But I uh, had a good weekend had one or two kids under the weather each day so that made it a little bit rough we didn't get to do some of the stuff we wanted we we're gonna go uh, ice skating in Yosemite Valley which is something we try to do every Thanksgiving and it just didn't quite pan out so we'll do it uh, for Christmas now which would be cool but uh, Brett and I my 12 year old we were really able to go get some more firewood. We got a pretty good gig going where this gentleman I met um, just wants somebody to come clear his property of all the fallen oak trees, a bunch of uh, live oak, and uh, just split it with him. So we're bucking it up, falling a few trees, and there's probably hundreds that are down. And we give him half and we bring home half so he gets his uh, trees cleaned up and get some firewood out of it 
and we get uh, some good firewood just for our labor, just for our trouble. So, oh, a couple deer, little one, and a big one. Ah, eh, maybe two big ones. Wonder where their buddies are. Something I gotta watch out on this road too is wildlife. See, it's pretty plentiful in this part of California. I can see anything from a bear to a, I guess there's wolverines in the in the area as well, as well as deer, your typical critters. The squirrels like to play chicken on the highway. It's uh, pretty funny, pretty scary. I don't think I've ran over one. I had a couple of close calls though on the motorcycle, and uh, definitely not gonna take uh, evasive action that puts my butt on the ground. If he wants to play chicken, I'm gonna go straight. And if he gets under the wheel, yeah, oh well. I'll feel bad for him. But, anyway, that's probably enough rambling for this time. I'll, uh, See you next time probably pull over here in just a second and turn this thing off appreciate uh, the views and if you don't mind hit a like button and subscribe if you want I won't keep you extremely entertained but I can talk to you about a few things that are kind of on my mind and uh, I'd like to hear you comment about it just hear your opinions on it so we'll throw out a shout out or two there's some good channels out there i'll put a couple that are my favorite right underneath the video here in the in the notes so we'll see you next time take care everyone